God, Pondo, I don't want to finger you as the evil guy, but you did it. Damn it. Here's my answer. He wore his clothes in the sauna. Mondo, your handbook got broken in the sauna, didn't it? Fuck. What? Why? Why do you keep accusing him? I don't want to. Mondo and Taka had an endurance contest in the sauna not too long ago, remember? And for the contest, Mondo just so happened to keep his school uniform on. Because he thought he was tougher. But little did he realize, he'd also left his handbook in one of his uniform pockets. Damn it. And when it was all over, Mondo discovered that taking your handbook into the sauna could easily destroy it. I don't... Why? <sighs> no, wait, hold up! You've got it all wrong! He would never kill... Damn it. I don't accept this! Show me the proof! The actual solid proof! I mean, I don't want to believe it either, but... But I found something that proves it beyond a shadow of a doubt. Well, also, he's only- he's strong enough to lift up the dumbbell. Um, I have no idea. Let's test Makoto's assertion. If what he says is correct, then Mondo, you broke your own handbook. In other words, if he Mondo's handbook is actually broken, then that proves that what Makoto said is right. Well, my goddamn handbook works just fine! See? Look! Makoto was wrong after all! Mondo wouldn't hurt a fly! I think I can use the works fine. Uh, because I'll use Makoto's the works assertion. fine. If what he says is correct, on him. Then Mondo, or no. You broke your own handbook. No, I'll use the broken handbook. In other words, if Mondo's handbook is actually broken, then that proves that what Makoto said is right. Well, my goddamn handbook works just If it works no, fine, turn no. it on. And let's see the name on it. Damn it. Mondo, the handbook you have right now, is it really yours? Of course it is. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? The broken handbook that was in the main hall. It was his. Isn't that one actually yours? Damn it. What the heck are you talking about? What I mean is, I think Mondo swapped his handbook out for one that actually works. Yep. I think he took Leon's handbook and replaced it with his own. That's the only logical explanation. After all, Monokuma said himself that Leon's handbook never should have broken. Yeah, he said it without a shadow of a doubt it's still working. That's right! The punishment it suffered wasn't nearly enough to destroy it. So then, the broken handbook in the main hall is actually Mondo's. Which would mean that the handbook Mondo has right now is actually Leon's. Easy way yes. to prove it, turn it on. But doesn't that violate the school reg- Well, No, because you can I borrow it, it and take it. There is a rule about loaning your handbook to another student, but if they're dead, they're not a student. Wish people would actually remember it, because it's actually getting annoying that everyone has said that so far. I mean, that's like the third time someone said, but isn't there a rule against loaning it's it out? It's kind of a great area, I admit. Worries. If anything, it just makes things more interesting. That's what you can believe. As such, I decree that exchanging handbooks with a corpse is not a violation of the rules. Of course not, because you're a dick. Well, Mondo, if I'm wrong about this, you're welcome to say so. I'm happy to admit I made a mistake, but... Son of a bitch. He knows it. What's wrong, bro? Come on! Tell him he's wrong! Damn it! You are wrong! You have to be wrong! Everything you just said is wrong! You made it all up! Okay, then why don't we look back on this case one more time, from the beginning? That way, everything will become clear, and we'll all see if I was right or wrong. Yeah, get a piece of everything together. Climax interface! Okay. Now that I know I can actually scroll through these things, that's actually helpful. Hey, is that from Sayaka's thing right there? 
Um. Yeah, the, okay, so it actually has others from different things. Oh. Yeah, it would be that. If you shoved it in there. Scanned. No, that one. Scan. She met him, put it down. He picks up the weight. Something happens. Fucking Tagami. Skip forward just so I know what the hell's going on. Okay. Or Oh! Blood splatter on the thing. Okay, so he takes that down, takes this down. Um actually having to concentrate. Girls. He got in. Where's the one setting? Shit, I don't know. Fucking asshole Tagami over here being the douchebag. Oh, uh. No? I have no idea. Uh, Bloodlust will be right there. God, he's such a fucking prick. Tommy left. This broke. That's already there, so I'm not using that one. What could it be? What could it be? Oh, put it there. Here's exactly I think what this is right. First, let's take a look back. I think minutes. there's. It's a pro high prob probability I got this wrong. Still love the music though. Last night, Celeste saw Chihiro in the warehouse, correct? At the time, she was apparently stuffing something into a duffel bag. That something was a blue tracksuit. You can confirm this, right, Celeste? With bag in hand, Chihiro headed out, even though it was officially nighttime. She made her way to the locker room, specifically the boys' locker room. But how could the victim, who was apparently a girl, access the boys' locker room? Shit. I didn't lay out my reasoning enough. I need to rearrange the events. Uh, that one? Oh. Okay, I need to switch these then. That's different then. Maybe. Here's exactly what happened. Okay, now I think I got it right. I just switched With those two. In hand, Chihiro headed out, even though it was officially. Yeah, I figured nighttime. I wasn't gonna get it all right. She made her way to the locker room, specifically the boys' locker room. But how could the victim, who was apparently a girl, access the boys' locker room? Okay. Good. Finally. Simple. Because she was really a he. Which is why he was able to use his own e-handbook to gain entrance to the boys' locker room. Once inside, he met with someone there. And the person he met was the one who killed him. It seems likely that the killer grabbed the nearby dumbbell, approached the unsuspecting Chihiro. We still don't know why. The whole why. Why did Mondo kill her? Him. And attacked him. Yes. Got it and right. That's where the blood stains on the poster and carpeting in the boys' locker room came from. It was likely in the heat of the moment. The body was arranged, but the murder itself felt unplanned. 
which is why the killer hurried to try and hide the act. First, pulling up the bloodstained carpet. Yeah. Then, removing the bloody poster. And finally carrying the corpse into the girl's locker room. A girl's handbook was necessary to get into the locker room, of course. But this alone doesn't prove that the killer was necessarily a girl. After all, Sayaka and Junko's handbooks had been placed in the main hall. Using one of those, a boy could get into the girl's locker room without much problem. Shit. I'm going to get I don't know what that would be. Oh, open the door? Don't fucking tell me it's just he opened the door. Here's exactly what happened. He opened After the door. All, no, that's a god damn it, I got that wrong. No, that's I don't know what that would be. I really don't know what this is. Unless it Oh my Here's exactly Fuck me. What happened. Oh my god. After all, Sayaka okay, and Okay, we already heard that. Already heard that, already heard that. Thank God. And I'm a dumbass. Exactly how the killer did it. Shit. With the carpet and the poster they brought with them, they got to work. They changed the layout of the boys and girls locker room in what you might call a crime scene switch. I would have gotten rid of both of the posters, actually. Because I doubt people would have remembered there was posters on the wall. That could have been the end of things, but no. Yakuya discovered the body and decided to intervene in the situation, making things even more complicated. Guess he's a cock. So, after stumbling on the crime scene, he went and grabbed the extension cord from the library, and then he got to work. Fucking asshole. He used the cord to string up Chihiro's lifeless body. Jesus, that's so fucking dark. Then, Using the victim's own blood, he left a grisly message there at the scene of the crime. He wanted to create the illusion that Genocide Jack was responsible for the slaughter. For fucking reasons. Shit the bet. I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose. I don't know what that is. I don't... No shit. I thought it was gonna say that, you know, Biakia fucking Here left. Is you! Damn it. And around the same I time got it right now. I was putting together this facade. The killer, having already disposed of Chihiro's bag and other belongings, arrived at the sauna. I thought it was just going to be Tagami leaving. There, they planned to destroy the last Oops. piece of evidence. Chihiro's handbook. Thank God I didn't lose. And just as the that was close. That was the steamy sauna was wow. enough to ruin the electronic gadget. That was uh, butt fucking close. I had uh, one heart left. Somehow, the killer knew that the handbook couldn't stand up to the heat of the sauna. Well, we're gonna have to do that time thing. I suck at that too. And the reason I'm gonna lose. That is because the sauna had already wrecked their own handbook, and that's how it all played out. Isn't that right, Mondo Arata? Yeah. There's no other option. Wait. No. This can't be right. It is. Your evidence? Yeah. Where's your evidence? You need evidence. You need proof. Without any proof, you can't pin any of this on him. Aka. Aka. Evidence that Mondo is the killer that already revealed itself earlier in the trial. All I have to do is check that one item of his and everything will become clear. New element has absolutely... Uh, fever time and nega time. During a bullet time battle, if you press the space key, fever time will activate and the tempo will be forced to max. This time, even if you push the buttons at random, you won't miss. You can push 
right mouse button, left mouse button, right mouse button, left mouse button, however, you want to destroy the opponent's verbal assault. But that, this only lasts until your focus gauge runs out, so make it the best uh, use of your time. Of course it wouldn't be fair if, you, if only you got access to the special time, right? So we've just prepared something called Nega Time that your opponent can use. This is getting actually really complicated. The opponent activates Nega Time during the Bullet Time battle. Your tempo marker will disappear, making it quite a bit tougher to hit the buttons and rhythm. If you were to activate Fever Time at this point, no. Never mind, I'm sure nothing would happen. I don't know what I was worried about. Unsurprisingly, if your action's difficulty is set to gentle, the opponent won't use Nega Time. Well then, good luck and have fun. Spacebar, victory, go. The moment of truth. Why am I facing Taka? Show me some evidence. You're wrong. Oh shit. Oh shit. I won't listen. I refuse okay. you. False. Show me Let's some evidence. Let's do this. I won't listen. I can't lose. I refuse to vote. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh fuck you. I won't listen! I refute you! False! Oh this is fucked up. This Show is weird as shit. I don't know what's happening. I won't listen! You're corrupt! I refuse to vote! I refuse Why is his thing so high? You're corrupt! Show me some evidence! Final strike! Broken Show me some book. evidence! Should prove it. Die! And he just has to open up his handbook. If it if it shows his name, it's he's clear. Thinking so far is right. He just has to turn on his handbook. If it says Mondo Owada, he is clear. He is not guilty. And I have no idea who the fuck it would be after that. Mondo must have replaced his broken handbook with Leon's. In which case, we can just check each of our handbooks right now. True. Once we do that, we'll. We don't gotta do that. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. I did it. I killed him. Way to take it like a fucking man. That's how you do it. That is a real man right there. He stands up and he's like, yeah, fuck this. I'm not gonna even lie. I did it. Fuck me. Smart. Good job, man. I appreciate you. I finished with an A! Yay! Give me Monokuma coins. Hell yeah, Bo. Fuck yeah. Bro? Bro? What are you saying? I got no choice, man. After hearing all that, I gotta just... give up. Way to take it, man. Go ahead, Monokuma. Get it over with. Ask for the goddamn verdict. Roger that! <laughs> Jesus. Wait! Hold on! No waiting! No holding on! Time for the moment we've all been waiting for! Grab your lever and give it a yank! Sham head! Who will you elect as the blackened this time around? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Damn it. Yeah, fuck me. I really liked him. I really liked him. What? Oh, -ho! this time it looks like you got it right again. Yes, it is so. The black and that killed your hero Fujisaki was. Mondo Owada! Mm. In case you're wondering, the vote was not unanimous. Kiyotaka chose the wrong answer. Is he gonna get fucking murked? Treading very close to the danger zone, Mr. Ishimaru. You need to be more careful. I refuse to believe it. There's no way. No way he would kill someone. Sorry. Sorry. What, what is this? Why are, why are you apologizing? Why? 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 Why did you do it? <sighs> now then. Well, it looks like Mondo's taking a vow of silence, so allow me to explain on his behalf. 
actually. The story of this murder this time is the sad story of two men. <gasps> oh, but for anyone who doesn't really want to hear it, you can hit the control key to fast forward through the text. Wow. Wow. Why would someone fucking do that? Unless it's like an hour long. Anyway, there once was a young boy. And his name was Chihiro Fujisaki. He had an extreme inferiority complex in regarding his lack of strength. You're so weak, even though you're a boy. He, he, he'd heard these things the, that as long as he could remember, and he could as long as he could remember, and he couldn't overcome his weakness. On the contrary, he tried to hide and bury himself further and further into that weakness to take on the fragile form of a petite young girl. He had chosen that as his way out. Um... No, nobody will be able to say anything about even though you're a boy. But no matter how tightly he wrapped himself up in that shell, the inferiority complex had already taken root deep inside of him, and that was not so easily weeded out. As it turned out, the shell was completely empty. The complex didn't disappear, instead it only grew stronger and stronger. <laughs> um... Weak. Weak, 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 weak. Oh, that's actually really sad. That's really sad. Once the killing game had begun, here at the school, he had no choice but to accept his fate. God, I miss Sayaka and Junko. I really do. After all, this world is survival of the fittest. If you're not strong, you don't survive. And then, the lovely and hateful Monokuma announced the reveal of the embarrassing secrets. Which of course included Ch Chihiro's embarrassing secret, which I was more than willing to divulge. Even though he dresses like a girl, Chihiro is actually a boy. Hey, um... And that was something Chihiro couldn't let anyone find out, no matter the cost. If that was revealed, it, could, it, it would be the end. The hardened shell would crack and the armor would fall away. Without a doubt, those around him would torture him more than ever before. Everyone figured being tr thrust into such a dilemma must have sent him spiraling into despair. What? And yet... Uh, I'm sorry. I don't really want to talk about it right now. But, but... But I also don't want to leave things the way they are, so maybe I can talk about it later. After I try my best to become strong, then I can tell everyone. Annoyingly, he used the threat of discovery to motivate himself to become stronger. That's right. Now's my chance. I want to change. I'm going to get stronger and accept who I am. Strong enough that when someone says, even though you're a boy, I'll be okay. I'll get better. With that thought at the front of his mind, he resolved to take immediate action. And so... That day, he made the commitment to begin exercising. He also prepared to uh, retrain, retrain his mind and body. But sadly, that would be the first and only chance he would get at it. Hey, um. When he decided to start exercising, he thought it would be good to ask for, ask for someone's help. But he wanted to tell that person his secret first, and then ask them to help him for the, from there. And the person he went to... Yeah, that's right. Who was me. Fuck, this is really sad. <laughs> yep, it sure was! The biker gang fella had been painfully clear about how important his manly promises were. So Chihiro probably figured that he, even if he confided in Mondo, his honor would make him keep the secret. Uh -huh. Plus, Mr. Macho Mondo was the very symbol of a strong man that Chihiro had always aspired to be. Maybe talking to Mondo about it will help give me some courage. So he went and so he went and asked Mondo to help him become strong. I think they glitched up there. It should have been Monokuma speaking on that one. That was his aspiration, and then he thought that only with Mondo's support would he ever be able to come across close to that. Correct. So then that must be why Mondo did what he did to keep the promise he'd made to Shihiro. Huh? Did what? What did he do? You mean that's why Mondo carried Chihiro from the boys' locker room into the girls' locker room? Indeed. Yes, that's exactly what I mean. Um... Wasn't that to cover up what he had done? Certainly. That could have been part of it, but I don't think it was the main reason. The real purpose was to keep the promise between men he'd made between Chihiro. But... 
But how does mo moving the body keep a secret? Because it threw us off the trail and we immediately assumed it was a girl. Because... Because if everyone knew he'd been killed in the boys' locker room, then everyone have, would have been arguing about how she got into the boys' locker room, right? Once that started up, at least a few of us would have immediately begun to suspect his identity. So he tried to protect Chihiro's secret by putting him in the girls' locker room and stealing his handbook. See? Then Mondo did all that, that to keep the secret he'd made to Chihiro, who he'd also killed. Why? Why would he do that? The more I hear you talk, the more I don't understand. I mean, you guys trusted each other, right? So why? Why did you? Because, no matter what, I didn't want anyone to know. I knew it. But that's what triggered it, after all. I'm glad he felt fucking triggered. The possibility of having your embarrassing memories and secrets exposed. What? What is this? Th that's impossible. Nothing could have been that bad. Something he didn't want anyone to know, even if it meant killing someone. You're wrong. It's impossible. Don't make me repeat myself. How many times must I repeat myself? To judge others by your own standard is the height of folly. Yeah, because Kiyotaka is going to be like he skipped school a day or something fucking stupid. You know, just something that no one would care about. Like, Makoto's isn't that bad because he's an average kid. But Mondo's is probably really bad. Chihiro's was really bad. Toko's was really bad. So, I mean, it's different for everyone. Even if you can't comprehend it, he obviously can. That's all he there is to it. <laughs> well, while we're on the subject, why don't I tell you? That embarrassing memory, that secret he didn't want anyone to know. Hey, um... You know what Mondo did? He killed his own brother. Oh my god. No shit he doesn't want that to get out. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fondo, the ultimate biker gang leader, makes all the hoodlums and riffraff across the country tremble. But the only reason he had the chance to join a gang in the first place because of a certain someone... Mondo's older brother's name was Daya Owada. Yeah, I remember that. I remember because... He talked about it when we were having our bro moment together. Mondo had everything, nothing but respect for him. It was because of Daya that Mondo ever got on a motorcycle. Mondo's brother was his only family growing up. He was the only one Mondo could trust or respect. He wanted to measure up to his big brother, so he imitated him in everything he did. Mondo was the epitome of the starry-eyed kid brother. Meanwhile, the char charismatic older brother had put together a local motorcycle gang. And before anyone knew it, it had grown into the biggest biker gang in the country. Daya, the older brother, number one in the gang, and his number two, his younger brother Mondo. In the beginning, everything was peaches and gravy. But when Mondo started to think about how he would have to take over the gang for, from his brother someday, his brother's greatness, his reputation, began to gnaw on Mondo's very soul. The kid's gonna take over for Daya, huh? Daya created this gang with his bare hands. Mondo's just along for the ride. Can someone like that really be our leader? All that'll do is make the gang look bad. Almost every day, Mondo heard the gossip and whispers on the of the other members of the gang. Which is why... I... I just... I gotta get stronger. Stronger than Daya. Once. Just one time. No matter what, I gotta win. Don't fuck with me! I don't care what, what it takes. I gotta come out on top. And on the night of his amazing brother's retirement ceremony, Mondo challenged him to a street race. But during the race, tragedy struck. The kid brother pushed ahead with reckless abandon, eager for victory, and dashed into oncoming traffic. But suddenly... Fuck. He didn't mur- oh, God. Oh, God, that's real- Oh. Oh, that's sad. That's actually really sad. 
He shouldn't blame himself for that. He didn't kill his brother. Lying in his kid brother's arms, the older brother delivered his final words. M my bad, kid. I fucked up. Sorry. Of course he knew it was his brother's fault, but Daya never blamed him for what happened. It's not his fault, though. I mean, Daya was just saving him. That doesn't mean he killed him. Like, that's, that's dark. Hey, kid. The rest is up to you. No matter what, you gotta keep the gang together. Because it's the team you and me put together. It's a... Promise between men. Fuck. He decided to hide the truth of what happened from everyone else in the gang. In order to keep the gang together and keep the promise to his brother. He could never admit to anyone that it was his own weakness that had caused the accident. And as a result... The team was made even stronger under the banner of the kid who's bested his big brother. Daya was going to lose to his kid brother, so he got stupid and got himself killed. That became the explanation of what happened. Mondo's lie became the truth. He wanted to lead the team so bad, he was willing to t tell all kinds of lies about his brother. I... Um, I just... I'm strong. Yeah. Strong, 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 strong. And yeah, and yet. As soon as our killing game began, he realized. No matter how tough he pretended to be, he was just another weakling that could die in an instant. <laughs> then the lovely and hateful Monokuma announced the revealing of the embarrassing secrets. At that point it was clear, I would have no problem shedding light on his secret. Mondo killed his older brother. No matter what, I couldn't let the other gang members find out. If that happened, everything would have been ruined. Everything me and my brother had worked to create would have been destroyed. His death, all the guilt I'd been carrying around, it all kind of been for nothing. So that's why. I, that's why I... I... I Mondo. Yeah. After I saw what Monokuma had on me. My head filled up with a, a crazy, kind of fuzzy uneasiness, and just started swirling around. I'd never felt anything like it before. I... I, I just... I didn't know what to do about it. I wasn't sure what to think, or say, but after a while that fuzziness uneasy... fuzzy uneasiness... <laughs> turned itself into a rock-hard lump of anxiety, way down in my stomach. And it was right around then, that Chihiro asked me to start working out with him. And right there, I... He told me a secret. Seriously? Jesus. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry I lied to you. But why? Why now? Why are you telling me this all of a sudden? Huh? Huh? Because, I mean, you've kept this secret all this time, right? If anyone found out, you would. But... You're right, but... I want to change. I've wrapped myself in lies. I'm weak. I want to destroy that version of me forever. His words were like a knife in my gut. I felt like he was exposing the lie I'd been living myself. I have to change. I don't want to be weak anymore. You're so strong, it couldn't hurt you, right? Whatever secret Monokuma might tell us. You piece of... So what, you're saying I should just say it? What? You're saying if I really what? am, I should just be able to tell everyone my secret. Huh? Huh? I was jealous. I was jealous of Chihiro's strength. He held the had the secret strength to face his own weakness, to try and overcome it. It was the kind of strength I've always I've never had. So I was jealous of him. And that jealousy broke me. What? Are you making fun what? of me? I'm strong! Are you fucking with me right now? No! I'm, I'm not making fun of you. You really are strong, Mondo. I felt like I could hear something starting to creak. Something inside my head. What What did he want me to do? What was I supposed to do? Was I just supposed to sit back and let my secret get revealed and ruin everything? What's what? wrong? Oh god. Did why did you? Why did you have to tell me all that? Are you trying to rub my failure in my face? I I just wanted to No, I just really admire you. I admire your strength. Yeah, that's right. That's right, I am strong. Strong, I'm strong. 
Strong, 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 strong. Stronger than you. You son of a. Bitch. And stronger than Daya. I don't remember anything after that. When I woke up again, he was lying at my feet, covered in blood. I had the dumbbell in my hand, and I was just staring at him down on the ground. Hey. Uh, I. I. Him. I killed him. I killed your hero. God, that sucks. That really fucking sucks. That's really sad. That whole story was sad. Even after all this time, I'm still just as weak as I've always been. Fuck. Oh, that was really... That was... That was intense. I would never want to skip that, Jesus. And thanks to that, I did something I can never take back. Hondo. You're normally so aggressive, so angry. He hid that weak side away from everyone. That was his secret. A weakness like that that lived in a heart like his, and it turned him cold blooded. God damn it! <laughs> Fuck! Oh my god! I care so much more about Mondo than I ever did of Leon. Oh my god, that. That story really hit me though. Both sides, Chihiro's and Mondo's? Jesus! That hit me like a fucking ton of bricks. Because, I mean, so many people can relate to that. Oh my god. Look at him, you see? You're all just like him. For a secret from the past, for a memory. For that, he killed another living human in cold blood. He couldn't cut free of his regrets from the outside world. He doesn't know what truth strength is. Do you see hope anywhere in there? Because I sure don't. You bastard. Just shut up! You son of a bitch, go ahead, say that again, I dare you! Yep. Okay, I'll say it as many times as I want, is what I want to say, but... <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't do that right now, because the time for punishing is fast approaching. Punishing? It can't be. You mean, execution? Well, now, well, now, That's well, what I now, promised well, you, now. right? The blacken that disturbs the peace will be punished. No, please don't kill him. Ridiculous. Uh, hold on! Now then, I prepared a very special punishment for Mondo Owada, the ultimate biker gang leader. Yeah. No, wait, wait. Let's give it everything we've got. It's punishment time. No. Oh. Yeah. I said wait. Sorry, man. God, Mondo, you're a fucking. Oh, you're so. Amazing. Oh, I'm gonna be so sad. The one person, the one guy I was really bonding with. Fuck. I couldn't keep the promise we made from one man to another. Damn. Damn. Christ. Oh man, this. That. This sucks. I wonder what this is. Oh shit. Fucking Monokuma's hair. The shit? The Cage of Death. Fuck. Mondo looks so fucking chill on there though, that's crazy. What the hell? What the hell is going on? Did he get, like, disintegrated? Like, electrocuted and, like, burned to ash? Oh my god, what the fuck? Oh! 
Oh, that's fucked. Oh, god damn, that's fucked up. Oh my god, that. That's fucked. That is. Not that one. That's fucked up. That's really. That's. Oh my god. Why did he turn into fucking butter? Jesus, this game. It's killing me. It's killing me on the inside.